Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a delimited data set like this. This is S&P, Moody's, and Fitch ratings for four countries. You can see it's comma delimited. We're going to take this, and we are going to parse it into a table so it basically looks something like this. We've got a row for each rating type for each country and their corresponding ratings. Well, let me show you how to do it. All right, all right. Let's pull this table into Power Query. So you select your table, you go to data, and you say from table and range. Pulls it into Power Query. By default, Power Query will then try to auto detect your, your column types. I just take that off because I want to make it all. Select all your columns and then say convert it all to text because that's what we're going to apply transformation on. First function we're going to use is called table.transform columns. Table.transform columns actually allows you to transform one or more columns in a table at a specific time. What we want to do is we want to transform all of these columns and we want to delimit them. So the function we want to apply is table.transform columns, but we want to apply function of delimit um, splitter and we want to delimit it by, you can see this is comma delimited. All right, so let's add a new step. Say table transform some columns. Yeah, we give it our table. The second argument, we're just going to give it some blank brackets because we can apply it on all columns in this table. And then we're going to use splitter, split by, split text by delimiter. And you can see we're going to delimit it by comma. We close that up and we say OK. So what you have now is you end up with a list. So you can see because there's no comma there, you can see this list contains just one item, Fitch Moody's. In here, it basically gave us a list of all the countries. And here is a list of all the corresponding ratings in a list. So what we do next is we add another column. I'm going to add the column by just saying like that. You can also just add it by saying add column over there, but I like to do it in M code. So table add column. We're going to add it to the custom table, which is the table we're in now. Yeah, it's current step. I'm just going to call this the give the column a name. Parse column. Yeah. And in here, I'm just going to say each because I want to do each one of these items, each one of these rows within this table. And I'm going to say record to list. And I'm going to feed it the underscore. To understand what underscore means, um, I have a link to one of the videos where I explain what underscore means. Underscore is basically a placeholder for each item, each current item. So now if you look at that, it's basically a list of a list. So it's a list of that, that, and that in a record format. It doesn't really mean much to us at this stage. I'm going to modify that a bit. I'm going to wrap this in. I'm going to create a table from columns, and I'm going to feed it this guy over there. Now, this should give me a table. So now this has created a table out of that record list. You can see in this table, we have SMP and the countries and their corresponding Rating. So we're almost there. Um, I just want to give these columns some sort of a column name. If you can look at source, I want to give it the source column name, rating type, countries, and ratings. All right, so how do I do that? I just go to the second argument there in the table from columns and say, give it table, column names, and I say, give it the column names from the source there. Now, close that bracket over there. You can now see, there we go. We basically have it parsed and delimited already. It's pretty cool. Next step, I'm just going to remove all the other columns here. Yeah? And then I'm going to expand on this. And I'm going to say, don't keep the original names. There we go. That's already parsed. So now next thing, I'm just going to right click here. I'm going to say, fold down. Now it's fold down. We're basically there. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that cool? So now all I say is close and load. And now what we have is we have actually taken this data over here with comma delimited and we've parsed it in this format over here. Isn't that brilliant? Well, I hope this gave you an idea of how you can use some of these um, functions to parse a delimited data set. Well, BA Sensei signing out.